I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Stretching out, uh, warming up to repent. That's called prelim. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share, share our content. It helps us grow our channel and donate. Your tax deductible gift to higher things keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation. The next generation and this generation and our generation need this gospel. It's a funny thing known as pre-Lent. Season, its earliest references is somewhere in the neighborhood of, it's made reference to at the Council of Orleans in 1541. It's kind of sensible if you think about it. It's the anti-Mardi Gras. Let me tell you about it. Before you work out, you stretch out, don't you? Well, that's how you don't pull muscles. There's a pre-game show before most sporting events. Sometimes even before um, news happens, you have the, the, the pre-debate uh, discussions. Pretty much it's generally good to prepare before you do something important. That keeps you from waiting till the last minute to do something. Mardi Gras. I grew up in the culture of, of South Louisiana where everyone would wait and party. They would party like it's 1999. Thanks, Prince. Until midnight on Ash Wednesday. They would party all Epiphany season and it would reach its culmination around 11 o'clock or a little earlier than that. But by 12 o'clock, at 12 o'clock, everything stopped and Ash Wednesday began. God's not a big fan of that. Waiting until the last minute to repent. That's not, that's not the way you do it. Uh, it's dangerous and it's faithless. And so the church recognized this problem very early. A season of penance, devotion, and, and, and preparation. Not to extend Lent, but to get warmed up, to get to keep us from doing the thing where we would just suddenly stop transfiguration and then pre-Lent fell out of favor, sort of disappeared with Vatican II. The Lutherans did the same thing too. But what? no matter what denomination you are, there's no reason to wait till tomorrow to start the diet. There's absolutely no reason to wait till tomorrow to repent. Sober up, get better, Cut what you need to cut. Repent. Now. Not tomorrow. Now. Not later. Now. And what I love about pre-Lent and the pre-Lenten season, the next three weeks, the countdown is on. Yesterday was Septuagesima, 70 days to Easter, is that it fixes our focus on the need to repent and more than that, on the fact that the Son of Man is about to suffer many things at the hands of the chief priests and teachers of the law be crucified and die, and on the third day raised from the dead. You see, pre-Lent is not about um, only about your repentance. It's about preparing and getting ready for his trek to Calvary. It's getting your mind focused and, and, and clearing the way so that all your concentration come Ash Wednesday is on Christ and his death. So whether you're Baptist or Lutheran or Episcopalian or charismatic, I don't have to speak in tongues for this. It's real simple. Repent. Prepare. Get warmed up. Jesus is headed to the cross. That's what's going to go on. His suffering and death for you to save you. And then in 70 days, his resurrection for you and your resurrection, and your justification, and your forgiveness before God. Think about it. Pre-Lent might not be a bad thing. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.